Good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, followers, subscribers, the Trevorites, even my lovers and haters. Chicken chasers, waste of spacers. Thank you, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for continuing, continuing to check to see if you're subscribed to this channel. It means a lot, and we are winning. We are winning. Well, it seems something I posted on social media yesterday has had a massive backlash with now journalists contacting me and people from radio shows sending me emails. I haven't responded to any of them, actually, because I'm loyal to the channels that I do stuff with. However, I put out a post saying, I believe, in my own opinion, that Sharon Davies, Olympic medalist and awesome swimmer and awesome woman's advocate, should be rewarded with maybe a dame or a baroness or something special for her hard work, dedication towards women's rights. Because without Sharon Davies, Lord Sebastian Coe, who's head of the Olympic Committee, would never have made a ruling to ban transgender or transsexual, whatever way you, wherever you're from, whatever way you call it, to ban them from taking part in women's sports. Now, this is not a fight against transgender people. It's not. Transgender individuals should have their maybe their own category. That's all we're saying. But going against women when they've got stronger muscles, different body parts, I believe and she believes that it was an unfair advantage to them over women. Now, if you look at all the records, hopefully they'll go back to normal. But she fought this. She lost lots of contracts. She lost TV work, radio work. She lost loads of interviews because she stood her ground. She stood her ground and Lord Coney Inn backed her. And now that's now been successful. And I believe she needs to be rewarded for her stance towards protecting women's, not only spaces, but women's sport. And I think it's fantastic. However, what I have noticed and why the journalists are contacting me, because I think that Sharon Davies is awesome. Okay. Sharon Davies MBE. Now, the people who are constantly attacking me now are saying that Sharon Davies uh, mustn't like women. What? Sharon Davies is misogynist. How, do, how does that even work? So, the people that attack you are ones with rainbows in their bios and transgender flags in their bios. And usually, usually, an EU flag thrown in for great measure. So, listen... I'm a firm believer now that people that sh let you know what type of person they are by, by their own small bio, uh, whether it's worth engaging with them or not. It's time to sort of put them to bed, let it go there. Now, I honestly believe that the LGBT community should be supporting Sharon Davies for sticking up for, for women's rights. They should be. But for some reason, they're not. For some reason, they're not. It's like people are being offended on other people's behalf rather than actually get to the meat of their story. I think women need to be protected. I know there's women out there that are stronger than me and tougher than me and can put me in my place. I understand that. I see them every day and I know when to button it. I know when to button it. However, if you have a platform, you need to use it to do the right thing. So well done to Sharon Davies. Uh, I hope... There's a petition going out soon to help support you, to put you where you belong, and that is in the in the Lord's. You can actually help. You can actually help lots of petitions and lots of women's rights projects if you're in the right place. But well done, and I hope everyone does support her. She's a fantastic human being. Listen, thanks for watching my video. Uh, appreciate your support. Stay safe.